So you just bought your new iPhone and it is now your precious device. You want it to last for a long time or at least until you can upgrade. Hello everyone this is The Box Desire and today I will be going over the top 5 reasons that could potentially harm your smartphone permanently. The top 5 iPhone killers. First off let's start by this missing drops. They won't be in this list because you probably already know that if you drop your phone it has a high probability of suffering physical and internal damage. In this video we will instead focus on the things the average consumer usually overlooks that can kill your iDevice. And first off at number 5 is never turning off your iPhone. Users quickly dismiss the idea of completely shutting off their smartphone. Heck, some new iPhone users don't even know that you can completely turn it off. The thing is that you really should. Having your phone turned on 24-7 stresses the battery and similar to humans the device needs to rest or the battery will eventually die faster. And if you don't know it already, the battery is not user replaceable. So before going to sleep, be sure to hold down the power button and completely turn it off. If you use your iDevice as an alarm clock to wake you up in the morning, then please consider buying a cheap alarm clock to replace it and not have to leave it on the entire night. It's worth it in the long run. The number 4 top reason that can kill your iPhone is overcharging it. If you're like me, you get home late and put your phone to charge until the next morning because you need that full charge. Leaving your iPhone plugged in after it has reached 100% actually degrades your battery life and once again you cannot replace that battery. It is recommended to let your phone charge and discharge in relatively small quantities to avoid battery from getting overworked. So what can you do to not overcharge your iPhone during the night? Using something like the Belkin Conserve Socket can help since it's a $10 socket that automatically turns off after a set time. But please note, if you upgrade your phone every two years, then taking these measures may not be necessary. But if you plan to have your phone for a longer period of time, then do consider these recommendations because it will expand the life of your smartphone, at least battery-wise. The number three top reason that can kill your iPhone is using it in extreme weather. It is recommended that you only use your phone outside when it's above 32 degrees and below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's too hot or too cold, then you can drain the battery and cause harm to the internals of the device. Now let's face it, you sometimes require of your phone under these conditions. If you're out in the beach or in the park, you want to stay communicated, so avoiding direct sunlight or keeping it in your pocket or bag can sometimes help with extreme temperatures. Second to last at number 2, taking a shower with your iPhone could also potentially kill it. Now hear me out, I don't mean literally going into the water with it because that would obviously harm your device, but rather having it in the same room, especially if you like to take a shower with very hot water. Very hot water produces steam, and this not only produces heat which is bad remember, but the same steam can get into the phone or in the surface where it is placed getting your device wet and phones and water don't go well together. Now if you've done this a couple times it's not as bad, however do try to avoid it and if maybe you want to listen to music while taking a shower, a good solution is taking a shower with not as hot water or buying a bluetooth speaker that is waterproof and I'll link some of them in the description of this video if you're interested. And finally the number one reason that could kill your iPhone is using malfunctioning charging cables. Check your cables, if they have creases or little lumps towards the ends like these, they could not only kill your device but could even lead to a fire in your house. Luckily enough, Apple provides a guarantee and will most likely give you a new one if you take it to the store. So please do so if you have cables, again, with these sorts of creases or lumps towards the ends. Now I placed this reason at number one simply because this was the reason that according to Apple technicians, most likely killed my iPhone 5. And I have also found out that this is the reason less people know about. But that is pretty much it for this video. Those are the top 5 reasons that could potentially kill your iPhone. If you learned something new or simply enjoyed the video, please be sure to like by hitting the thumbs up down below. Also, please share this video with your friends and family members to raise awareness and so that people can get the most out of their phones. Finally, if you want to see more content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up with daily updates of the channel. But that is it. Thanks for watching.